so nice and warm out. Yeah, go ahead and help direct. So right now we're just trying to back hey, up. Kathy, are you in the welcome center? He might have to straighten back out because of the yeah. barrier fence. So as you guys watch, you um, we the the have some media covering. So you'll see some media people. You'll see our staff videoing. And I am trying to give you a live post, but I also have to work. So I can't answer necessarily questions. I need to be able to focus. So uh, we're going live with you guys today, but I won't be able to answer much of your questions. And I might have to put you down or give you to another staff member. <laughs> But we just arrived at the sanctuary in Sandstone, Minnesota. I hear Chupino already. <laughs> so if you guys can hear, Chupino, uh, Chupino's already in the new Pride Prairie. Okay. <laughs> and right now it's just about maneuvering this big trailer in our narrow roads. But Chupino already knows he's got some friends coming. Oh. Sorry, I never think it's going to be emotional, but it is. It was a long journey to get these guys here. I'm so happy they're here. I, they're going down again. They probably have to re-straighten a little bit. Yeah, he's a, they're, they're pretty, they're at like a 30 degree. Go straight back. You don't want to go anymore in the ditch. <laughs> I think backing up the trailers are always the hardest part of any rescue. <laughs> so this is going to be their new home. Um, of course, it's winter in Minnesota. And they're going to be just entered into their indoor building so that they get some heat right now. And we will keep them there for about 48 hours uh, because we don't want them to come out into the cold right now. We have some of the trio locked away. We'll let the trio out a little later, but we didn't want um, them all kind of, all the cats on top of Leo and Mansa's arrival. Uh, and so they'll stay 24 to 48 hours. Uh, they're going to go, be careful of the ditch here again. <laughs> this, this drops completely off. He has got no room to do that here. Hold on, he's got to come back a little bit to get himself straight. Maybe go back just one more point to get himself out. Yeah, because it drops off right here. His tire's barely going to miss the drop off. I hear you, Chupino. And Chupino's up in his small yard right now. Again, we have um, the other animals away from all the commotion right now because we didn't know how everybody would react and so we wanted it safe for all the animals and to cause the least amount of stress as possible. We've learned one thing. If we had to redesign the sanctuary, we would redesign wider roads. <laughs> Otherwise, it's perfect for the animals, but it always makes our job harder. So if you're just joining us, um, the Wildcat Sanctuary worked with the zoos in Argentina. Um, Argentina has come up with a much more compassionate plan for wild animals, and they're turning their zoos into echo parks. They're no longer going to exhibit exotic species. And so when they made that change, they wanted to make sure that their zoo animals, like the lions, went to reputable sanctuaries. So we agreed to take in seven lions. Um, 
seven lions uh, this season and uh, five came earlier and we've been waiting for the last two and boy has it been a journey. Um, not only to get them to Miami for customs, but the weather issues we've had since <laughs> they arrived. So we're trying to back up as close as we can to the building so we don't have to manually roll them too far. And Elise is directing the driver. This is where I give up driving to the people that know it way better than I do. So if you're new to us, it is winter in Minnesota. That's why we have heated indoor buildings for new residents, but we get lush green grass and so much for these guys to do. Um, they will have free roaming habitats, which right now is snow, but they will have tons of grass. They're gonna have boulder caves. They'll have platforms to lounge on um, and tons of open space to, to roam. Um, it never compares to what they can have in the wild. Uh, but sadly these cats cannot be released back into the wild and they need to come to rescue organizations like ours. Uh, we also have our vet team here, which is protocol for us on any cross country rescues, just in case there were any difficulties. Uh, many times we also take the vet team with us on long transport, but we knew these cats very well and they had been uh, cared for very well over the last temporary situation they had. Um, what we're gonna do is let transporter Mitchell and we're gonna need multiple caretakers. Mitchell, how many people do you want to help pull the crate back? Probably three or four. Okay, so we get Each. Bob, Elise. From falling down too fast. Bob, Elise, Alyssa. Who else is in there with you? At least who else is in there with you? They need four people total. Yeah. So if, um, yes, and if you can take Rio, so Rio can help unload the crate since she's here. And if I have to help, I can definitely put down. Um, now, Leo, this is Leo the lion coming out first. He's uh, been very calm, but when you get into his space, he will bark a little bit. Uh, we're going to have to put ramps down for the crate to come out. Um, and we have to undo the straps. And then we're gonna roll them into the building. We hope we still have service. We close the building doors for safety as we unload him into his indoor heated room. But they traveled so, so well. Um, we're just so impressed by them. Now Mansa is a little bit more um, unsure of what's going on. <laughs> so this is a, a industrial crate it's heavy it rolls really well um, but the challenge is here is we don't want it to roll down the ramps too fast and so the more people that can guide it down uh, the more smoother process it can be for leo And Karen, once he's unloaded, if there's not a barrier by Monsta, we want to keep everybody out of the crate and give her her distance. So we don't want media or anybody going in to her enclosed space because um, she's a little more nervous and we want to give her the space she needs. So we can definitely um, film her as she comes out, but I don't want her to feel closed in. <laughs> there you go, Leo. There's the lion. <laughs> a little hiss and a little lion bark very uh, typical he's in a small space and when you get too close he needs to protect his territory Good boy, Leo. You've done good. We Remember we talked about the snow? <laughs> it's not here all the time. Um, Alyssa, do you have... 
you have um yeah mm -hmm. so if you're new to uh what we're doing today we have rehomed and helped provide a home for life for seven lions all the way from Argentina. We're in northern Minnesota. Um, might seem like, why would cats from Argentina come all the way to Minnesota? Um, African lions that lived in Argentina. Well, um, we kind of mentioned earlier is Argentina and many other countries are taking a more compassionate approach for animals and they no longer wanted to exhibit exotic animals and wanted to turn their zoos into echo parks. And so they are reaching out to reputable sanctuaries to make sure their residents, like the seven lions here, uh, have permanent safe places to live. And so the Wildcat Sanctuary, with the support of our donors and wonderful Bob Barker, uh, was able to build Pride Prairie and bring seven lions to the Wildcat Sanctuary. And this is the trip for Leo and Mansa, the last two lions that came to came from the La Plata Zoo. They are 11 year old siblings. They were separated at five months old and brought to different zoos and they will now be reunited at the Wildcat Sanctuary. They will not be able to live together uh, until they're spayed and neutered. We do not want um, any babies here, especially by relatives. So we will spay most likely Mansa uh, in the spring. So the lions acclimate pretty well. We have indoor temperature controlled buildings, but if you see Kimba, Sophie, or Gino, they already have nice thick winter coats and actually love the outdoors. But we definitely want to give them the comforts of a temperature controlled building so that they can acclimate as they need to. I know people are asking about the cold weather. Please go back and watch this live post. Um, we've answered that several times and it's a great question. Um, so we definitely answered it. And um, if you missed the answer, uh, please go back because it's just, oops, and there you go, Leo. Big step down. So he's right now at an angle on the ramps. Um, there you go. You guys need a hand help pulling up over that lip? We need to go a little to They're pulling then. over here. Get some momentum going. Ready? We have a top handle, this handle. So right now yes. they are just being released into their indoor bedrooms. This is because they need to get used to uh, uh, want zeros, the temperature controlled zeros. building for them to go in. And we want them to know that this is their safe zone. What? We don't want them to go venture outside and not come right in. So in their bedrooms, they have a bunch of different things. They have like a little hiding spot, manger, the door to the outside, hammocks and toys. Um, and then they'll get to go outside um, in the next 48 hours. So Chipino <laughs> does not want to come in. He's peeking his head in, but he uh, definitely... Um, and then we will have media step inside because we will want the door shut for final release for safety. Saltania is... <laughs> Watching very calmly in her manger. She doesn't seem nervous as much as she seems curious. And you can see like Saltania, hi beautiful. She's already adjusted and she can go in her, her outdoor area anytime she wants. Um, but she's choosing to hang out here and see what's going on. So Leo uh, was roaring at the, temp uh, the temporary facility. Um, with the other lions there where he was in holding in Florida um, and it'll probably take him a day or two to choose to 
roar here. So right now, um, an indoor area, him and his sister Mansa, who are being reunited, haven't seen each other. So we put a visual blind to give them time to get used to their space first. And once they go outside, uh, they're a share, shared wall. Uh, Alyssa has some in the safety kit, the bolt cutters. We always have every tool we need if uh, anything were to ever go wrong. <laughs> Saltania is thinking, yeah, I think I'm going to go outside all day. So Saltania, if you don't know, is a 26-year-old lion that came from Argentina. She is an old girl. She was rescued from a circus and then went to a zoo, and now she lives at the sanctuary. She's choosing to be in her indoor bedroom and check out the new bow. <laughs> Chupino is choosing to stay outside because he's not nearly as confident as <laughs> Miss Saltania. Are you talking to him? Do you got a new bowl? <laughs> And Leo's talking too. So what they're doing right now is they're getting up um, uh, barriers on the top and bottom of the crate so that when he walks out, the only place he can walk to is his room. You can see he was very calm in transport, but now he's pacing. Um, he's a little nervous. And so it'll be very soon that he gets to get out and uh, be in his forever home. <laughs> And before um, anything so opens, I need Alyssa to secure the door. We need, we we need to secure oh, the building up. door. Just come towards me just a little bit so the door lines up with the door. Yeah, we also have to make sure the handle can open. Yeah. So you guys able to you can come in, but the doors have to be secured. All right, stop there. Hold on, did we get the door, though? Yeah, we'll have a little bit of a gap. Okay. You want to put something on that, or can we reach the door? So right now they're discussing um, if they can reach the door. These are not our crates. These are the transported crates, and we want to make sure we can reach the door the appropriate way um, to make it flat against... It's okay, Leo. Chupino <laughs> came inside to see what's going on, and he's talking to now. We'll have to just go. Yeah, we'll have to So we also secure the crate to the wall. It's going to open towards you, so we are going to have to kind of just pull it just a little bit this way. Um, I have a low battery, guys, so. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're going to try and get the charger in. Hi, Miss Saltania. Are you hooked up? Yeah. Let's put that in your pocket. All right, Gina, thank you for saving the day with the battery. Hi, Chupino. We brought you, we brought you a friend. So they're discussing um, final setup, and as much as it seemed like organized chaos, it is. They're all communicating um, when it's our crates. They're doing a checklist of everything that's on. Okay, Leo, this is new and scary. We get it. Hi, right, Chupino. You gonna go back outside? You gonna see who your new friend is? <laughs> I know, Chupino loves other lions. You got the door. So he came into his indoor bedroom to see what's going on. So I, I bring it around the handle like this and you just, are you good? Yeah. As long as it's around something that works. Good. 
So in the springtime, a lot of the cats will be released, like you saw Kimba, Sophie, and Gino, into their large habitats right away. Given it's winter season, and these guys are from Argentina, we want them to go into the heated building, spend a few days in their room so they know that's their safe zone. They're doing their final checks and balances. And what do you think Chapino's going to do? It's okay, Leo. Not only with Leo, but when he sees another female Mansa right next door. So if you haven't met Chupino before, Chupino does not have a tail. Um, Leo's crate is open, but in many cases, the cats will go towards the people and not realize the door is open. So he's got to figure that out at his own time. And we. <laughs> door. They're gonna shut the door of his room. He walked right out. Like this. <laughs> Sultania is very interested. Got it. Sure. <laughs> I got one hand All right, let's get the transport. Good boy, Leo. Okay, I'm gonna slide the second. Both okay. handles are in. Okay, let's disconnect the transport cage. <laughs> Oh, everybody loves the straw beds. It's the favorite. All the Argentina lions love the straw bed. So you can see between, when we go over and look between Chupino and Saltania, there's an open wall there that they can see each other. We have blocked that for the time being so that they can each have their own space. You can see Leo has a little scar on his hip. It's very superficial. It looks like it was just a, a rub he did from the crate. Okay. Well. <laughs> Leo, are you going to go find your enrichment under there? <laughs> He's checking everything yeah. out. Go ahead, go ahead. This one. <laughs> you take off. They're going to secure the door. Now, Mansa might be a little more nervous. <laughs> you playing with your paper already? <laughs> We're already having fun, aren't we, handsome? You're silly. You're going to rub that hammock all over. <laughs> now, Leo is one of the most social, calm lions we've ever met. Not much gets a rise out of him. <laughs> and he's going to rub and mark everything. He likes the pine branches. And there goes the wall. It has been officially marked. <laughs> I want to grab this. Oh, <laughs> and why not mark a rub in your own urine? <laughs> oh, yes. You're gonna give Chipino a run for his money for uh, sweetness, aren't you? Oh, but we gotta okay. mark this wall too. Once the crate moves, once. <laughs> uh, once the, the crate moves, the media can Lock come down. <laughs> now, when all of us are here, we might not allow all of us to be in here for Monza. Uh, because she's a little more straight. Uh, media can come down and film Leo. He's rubbing and marking everything right now. Sorry, Elise, we don't mean to be in your way. We'll try and stand still. <laughs> the neighbors are very interested. And Leo is having a, just a blast rubbing on everything. <laughs> You're moving your hammock, honey. So Mansa is a little more nervous, and so what we might do is watch things from outside but not up close, because the more people in Mansa's space might make her nervous, and we want her to have as smooth a transition as possible. <laughs> now, when he uh, was at the temporary facility in Florida, he fell in love with the white tiger next door, so we know he's very social to other cats. And what do you think of your neighbor? Chapino and Saltania are definitely curious, but not aggressive. Um, okay, well that hammock <laughs> is now gone. 
<laughs> oh, that was more about marking it and wearing it. That was fun, wasn't it? Oh. But now you have to sleep in your hay bed because you just tipped over your hammock. <laughs> he is marking up a storm. Let's rub your cheek scents on everything. Let's pee on everything. <laughs> so right now, if you're just joining us, um, please realize these guys are just in their indoor bedrooms. This is not how they live at the sanctuary. Through that black door, they have huge access to outdoor areas, much like Sultania does here. But we are in Minnesota, and we want to um, give them indoor rooms. And these guys are much younger. The ones arriving are 11, where Miss Saltania is 26. And you can see much different in her body condition and her eyes. Uh, but at 26, uh, we say old age is not a disease. We absolutely love this um, old lady. She's just a bright spirit. <laughs> he got a little rise out of the media. <laughs> I don't even work with him every day. You're used to it. And he's being actually pretty funny. He's not even being a naughty lion yet, are you? I know that's more for Chupino, that other male. All right, we're going to move out of the way because Monsa's coming in. Monsa's a little more nervous. And you have to remember, this is a big life change for these guys. And even though it's going to be an awesome change, change is hard. <laughs> not only for humans, but for cats. So we're gonna um, we're gonna stay back from her and kind of let just the people go because Mons is a little more nervous, which is very uh, okay, go very normal for females. Monsa gives out a little hiss. Watch, go more. There you go. <laughs> These are their large areas that they'll be going out into eventually. But right now we want to give them time to acclimate. <laughs> hmm? Do you want media in from Monsa? Uh, I think we have to see how she does because she's so close. But we could probably go in after. Yeah. So let me see. Um, can they stand where you are? If you two can fit right here, you're welcome to come in. We just want to stay as farther back for her and not get close, so kind of more in the room, and then we're going to have to shut the door. Or do you want to reverse them over here? Uh, he's throwing things around in a good way. Because <laughs> he's showing off to Chapino. So uh, we can only do rehomes. Uh, we don't call this a rescue necessarily because all of these cats were cared for at the zoos they came from, but the zoos made a compassionate decision to retire them to a sanctuary. But we can only do these large scale rehoming efforts with donations. And all of these lions need sponsors. You can sponsor a lion. I can just hear Leo over there with all this stuff. Um, you can sponsor a lion for as little as $50 a month. You're okay, Mansa. So you can see females are, I say females are smarter than males because she knows her spatial boundaries where the boys don't. And if she gets worked up, then most of us are gonna leave. We want this to be calm. Push her in, get her up close. Make sure you have room in that door. It's okay, Manza. So when you work with these animals, you have to be prepared for their fear response and their aggressive response and make sure safety is a priority and decreasing their stress is utmost. But Manza is definitely a little more nervous than Leo. Um, I think within 48 hours, she's going to calm down completely and know she's in a good space. But this has got to be very scary. This is... Uh, we are a no breeding facility. We are a rescue organization and nonprofit. We do not buy, breed, trade, or sell animals. We simply provide a home for life. We are running out of battery again, so we'll go as long as we can. 
Um, it's okay, Miss Monza. They're doing their double checks again for all safety security. Can you get the door? I can get the door. We're ready. And you can see we real, move real small, slowly and calmly as much as we possibly can. It's not about fast moves. Um, this is a scared kitty right now, and we need to reassure her. Good girl. What a good girl. And the cats at the sanctuary never get penalized for being fearful. Um, this is not natural for them, and we give them as much compassion and dignity and a rescue environment as we can. They're just in their indoor rooms right now. They're at our temperature controlled so they can start acclimating to the Minnesota temperatures, which is winter. Um, we really try not to take in cats after November, but uh, due to scheduling issues and circumstances, <laughs> this was much later than we anticipated, but we knew we still wanted to give these beautiful animals a home for life. So they're putting the safety chains, the lock on her kennel door. Uh, and for Mansa, uh, we learned a lot from her previous caretaker. She is a very loving and responsive cat in terms of a lion, not a dog. Um, but she takes time to trust, and who can blame her? Um, so Elise and the other staff all built a manger in there, is what we call it. It's a place for her to hide, so she doesn't have just an open area like the others, because we knew she needed more time to adjust in a safe place um, to hide from us. But seeing her at the temporary holding facility, it only took a few short days where she started playing and coming around. Um, so we've been trying to communicate to her that this is the last time she will ever have to move. Um, and I don't think we'll probably get a shot of Mansa because she's hiding. Leo, what are you doing? I know. <laughs> You're so silly. So that little manger, I'm going to get close without stressing her. She went and hid in the manger. Sorry, it's blurry. But that's exactly what we wanted to provide for her. No, these guys were never abused. This is what big cats do. They react very differently. You can see Mansa's hiding a little bit, where Leo is having the freaking time of his life. <laughs> and he... So, I'll tell you, um, somebody loves pine branches. <laughs> Uh, your room is already a disaster. You're like a college student. <laughs> uh, Dr. B just... <laughs> Sorry you're seeing so much fence, but I also don't want to get too close. Um, this is his space, and he's playing with it and marking in it right now. And... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what he's done to his room just by playing. Leo, I think you're home. And I think the caretakers are going to have to clean up after you quite a bit. <laughs> so you can see um, <laughs> two very different responses to two different lions. I can't imagine what Leo's gonna do when he gets out in that habitat. He is gonna, like, it's gonna be a jungle gym. Um, I will be honest, out of how many hundreds of residents we've had, I've never had a cat be so crazy upon arrival <laughs> in a good way. I've had some cats be joyous, but he's having a blast. No, you can't go outside yet, it's too cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
I'm going to walk, but I don't want to walk closer to Monsa. I want to give her some space. <laughs> but she's already... Oh, you did that to me. I know, I'm sorry. But she came out and walked around, but she has... Um, she has about a 15-foot radius she likes when she's acclimating, and she deserves to have that. <laughs> so Chipino seems uh, a little bit annoyed by the competition, but again, this is just finding out your girlfriend has a new bow across the way, and uh, in the wild, lions live in pride, so this will all work itself out very quickly. <laughs> but it is something very new. <laughs> well, you guys, we have to say, job well done. <laughs> job well done. Um, we are gonna sign off so we can clean up um, and we can give some cats some access now that they're here. A lot of the cats were put in their buildings so that they weren't um, right on top of these guys. <laughs> so thanks for being part of our big rehoming of Leo and Mansa, who joined Kimba, Sophia, and Gino, and Chipino, and Sultania <laughs> here at the sanctuary.